good evening all today we are going to have a workshop on anthropology how to do anthropology why optionally is important for civil services mains preparation in the whole cycle of civil services what is the role played by the optional and in that particular optional why we need to choose anthropology as the optional i am going to discuss so this is the france boss and these are the tribal population so link between these people is nothing but anthropology so choosing appropriate optional is very very important choosing appropriate optional is very very important how much important means how a friend how a friend is important similarly how a spouse is important in that way in that way the optional is very important for civil services preparation opting for appropriate optional subject is like choosing one as your best friend or spouse because he or she should be an example of friend in deed is a friend in deed friend in need is a friend in deed so the the decision of choosing a friend the decision of choosing a spouse how careful we will be similarly we have to be careful in choosing of the optional similarly the civil aspirants need to choose their optional for instance all the successful civil aspirants who cleared the examination they give the equal importance for the optional why because optional will be the deciding factor optional will be the main factor which will be deciding the rank cadre and the service so india's toughest exam believe that their optional as their best friend because how a best friend acts as a rescued on exactly because of the high marks they score in optional they secured good ranks in civil services examination if you choose randomly if you choose randomly those people who are below 100 all india rank their optional scores will be very very high either it may be any of the optional so the optional choosing makes a difference so the importance of optional is this so why anthropology we need to take what is the necessity to take the anthropology so i made it to some points bullet points why we need to take anthropology as the optional the first important thing is limited syllabus the syllabus is very very limited once we go through the 12 units of paper 1 and 9 units of paper 2 we will come to a conclusion that yes this is the syllabus so most of the questions which come in the examination will be within the syllabus and the anthropology faculty the discipline faculty will tell that first you need to read the syllabus so that you will get a understanding of the syllabus why because it see it is a limited syllabus number 2 80% of the preparation will be static and 20% will be dynamic yes most of the topics will be static but don't think it is static and 20% will be dynamic why because we need to add the new tribal examples the population variations the disease occurrence the 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 social cultural factors which is influencing the tribal societies apart from that it is also dynamic why because how we link the anthropologist to the concepts how we link the anthropologist to the examples that is also makes the discipline as dynamic discipline so however the positive thing is 80% of the topic is static and 20% of the subject is dynamic hence high scoring so static you know what we need to read to that particular static part if you add dynamism then your answer will become awesome hence it is becoming high scoring the track record from the previous results also provide that anthropology is high scoring optional so track record from the last 4 5 years most of the people who are getting maximum marks are from anthropology discipline it doesn't mean that taking anthropology will give you high marks how better you are preparing how better dynamic points you are adding to your answer how you are linking anthropologies how you are making examples relevant to the question these are all these are all the points which make the discipline unique static mixed with dynamic hence people are scoring high marks so answer practicing is very very important the questions in the final main exams will be direct and there won't be a round tripping of the questions so the importance of this discipline is the questions will be direct right about functions of the marriage functions of kinship how the religion evolved what is anthropological perspective of religion so whatever present in the syllabus the 80% of the questions will be direct from the syllabus hence there won't be any round tripping of the questions the questions will be direct that is another added advantage for anthropology as optional anthropology subject is not new to students because the topics present in the syllabus are the things which we observe in our daily life like marriage yes we are familiar with marriage kinship family hence the subject will be interesting and the syllabus will be connected to everybody everyone i am connected with marriage you are connected with marriage family we are connected religion we are connected economy we are connected polity we are connected health and disease we are connected hence the subject is not new 
is the same subject which we are dealing in our day to day life the same discipline the same subject the same topics we are discussing in the discipline form in the subject form so it's not something new it's not something greek and latin it it is what we had in our society the same topics are present here there is a proper availability of material and resources in the society so i am not talking it's a market a proper availability of resources and material in the in the society not in the market why because this is anthropology in the society resources are there anthropology soft copies are there in internet teachers are available quality quality teachers are available hence a material why because while choosing optional we also we should also take care that the teacher should be there the faculty should be there resource should be there material should be there hence for anthropology this all things are available hence it is accessible and available most important it covers 30% of general syllabus general studies syllabus as well 30% of the general studies syllabus is covered how means i will tell you gs1 is divided into three modules history indian society and geography indian society most of the questions in indian society in 2019 mains culture point of view civilization point of view secularism point of view regionalism point of view all are the topics which are present in paper 2 of anthropology gs2 polity governance and international relations governance forest rights act peace act panchashil so what are all the legislations how the good governance is happening in the society is discussed in this particular anthropology paper 2 gs3 economics disaster management internal security internal security is there in paper 2 left wing extremism what is the relationship between the tribal police and naxalites a trio between the police naxalites and the tribal population which we will be discussing in paper 2 and gs4 ethics proper very good examples we are getting we will be getting here why because tribal people they won't give importance for material aspects they give importance for non material aspects like values beliefs customs traditions they won't bother about economy they won't bother about materials what is a present society the present society is bothering only about material benefits whereas tribal societies are bothered only about values beliefs customs traditions that means they are not bothered about the materials we can learn from tribal societies so ethical point of view the best example to learn is tribal societies women empowerment we are talking about women empowerment daily daily we are seeing heinous crimes against the women but the tribal society egalitarian society women have equal right as of men women have the choice to choose her spouse no restrictions widow remarriages is there absence of child marriages is there there is no social evils present against the women in tribal societies yes we can learn from tribal societies hence it is present in gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 any general essay philosophical point of view historical point of view you can start with anthropological point of view from evolution of man how man evolved in the process of evolution how man has been changing culturally civilizationally etc etc so this particular anthropology is also present in general studies as paper 2 of anthropology consists of social issues like tribal issues etc we can expect questions in interview as well you know i went to interview three times marginally i missed the service so in interview when three times two times they when i told my optional is anthropology they asked me oh you are op- anthropology optional they asked me questions on anthropology why because is a unique the name is unique the name is unique the questions will be unique okay then i will ask you questions and the most of the questions will be from tribal societies why because tribal societies are the disadvan historically disadvantaged underprivileged sections hence how if you become a civil servant how you are going to address the tribal problems how you can better the plight of the tribal population such type of questions can be accept can we, we can expect in interview as well in interview as well in 2019 prelims prelims point of view so mains point of view i told you importance of anthropology interview point of view i told you importance of anthropology and prelims point of view also in 2019 prelims directly three questions and indirectly another two questions came from tribal issues of anthropology hence useful in prelims also pvtg there is a question on pvtg there is a question on schedule 5 and schedule 6 there is a question on denisovan so these are three direct questions which are in prelims gs1 general studies question paper which are directly drawn drop out from anthropology papers so prelims also we can expect such questions if we do 
anthropology as the optional so prelims may come out here it will be useful in prelims it will be useful in mains it will be useful in interview as well since last five to six years the eight to ten percent of the students who cleared the civil service examination is from anthropology option so so leave the statistics what you want to tell means most of the people who are clearing civil service examination a good number of people a, a very good number of people are from anthropology optional why because we have to follow the trend how anthropology we need to do so initially how we need to start the anthropology means read some basic books like ncrt books indian society and social problems in indian society so indian society books ncrt books 11th class book and 12th class book you will get a proper understanding of indian society mentoring is necessary you know mentoring is very much necessary to join with a proper and honest teacher who is knowledgeable available and down to earth this is also very very important so it's not about joining the classes it's about the joining the classes of that particular teacher who is down to earth who is available who is approachable who is accessible who is available so you you need to take care of that particular factors also do daily writing practice this is inevitable this is inevitable nowadays the competition increased most of the people are preparing well most of the people who are preparing are very very serious then where will be the difference the difference will be with respect to how seriously you are practicing answer writing make proper revision notes i am talking about the last 6 hours paper 1 3 hours and paper 2 3 hours in this paper 1 and paper 2 3 hours 3 hours how you are making a revision note so that you can reproduce in the examination how you can analyze the things in the examination hall so you have to make a proper revision notes these are the factors how to prepare for anthropology in this particular circumstance i want to tell you that if you are a fresher if you are a fresher i will tell you the points the following points which you need to follow first understand the syllabus properly read the syllabus properly analyze the syllabus properly understand the syllabus properly focus areas what are the focus areas anthropological thinkers anthropological thought tribal examples physical anthropology where you need to focus that also you need to understand know where to read from source don't read from all the materials which are available in the market and society read that particular material which is useful for your exam which is useful for your exam and it should be exam oriented follow the honest mentor yes anyone if you have the mentor follow him blindly or her follow him or her blindly curiosity to be maintained you know why children will learn that much fast because of the curiosity if you are a fresher you need to maintain the curiosity how how this particular thing is happening oh, what is the plight of the tribal population what this anthropologist told about this particular tribal population this all things we need to how we need to maintain how we can maintain by curiosity writing practice writing practice is inevitable this i am recommending for freshers you need to have this particular six mantra if you are a fresher and if you are a senior if the question come for it, sir then i am a senior then how i should be for that the answer is being down to earth if you know if your teacher is telling if your mentor is telling or if your someone is telling something about the subject listen what is the problem so we have we need to be down to earth we should have a we should have a desire to learn more the people who are having the desire to learn more they will be down to earth when a person when he is down to earth he will learn more that's why i emphasized on down to earth realizing more to learn we have to realize i know little i need to know more that attitude should should be developed revision 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 and writing practice writing practice is indispensable and inevitable compulsory absolutely we, either it may be fresher or it may be senior you have to do writing practice how much better you are writing the answers that much better you will be getting the marks by because the competition is high so so anthropology syllabus how it will be anthropology syllabus paper 1 and paper 2 i divided paper 1 into 6 modules and paper 2 into 6 modules introduction to anthropology and evolution of man evolution of man first module second module archaeology third module socio cultural anthropology means family kinship religion these all things will be there fourth anthropological theories thought theories physical anthropology physical anthropology where i am very strong physical anthropology applications of anthropology how we are applying the knowledge of anthropology so these are the six modules for 
paper 1 and paper 2 evolution of man in india this is evolution of man generally across the world this is evolution of man in india indian social system how indian social system is there here we will be learning about caste system indian villages agrarian relations changing indian social structure these all things we will be discussing in this indian social system development of anthropology and discipline now uh, anthropology has become a buzzword in civil services preparation civil services platform so how this particular anthropology evolved like this much mammoth discipline so development of anthropology as a discipline in india indian village studies everything about villages we will be doing another for unit number five of paper two tribal india everything about the tribes tribal problem tribal solution displacement rehabilitation resettlement compensation everything about the tribal and problems of tribals indian social issues and applications of anthropology on this issue so applications of anthropology on indian social issues like regionalism secularism communalism ethnic and political movements so several issues societal issues how we are going to address that is a six module so i divided paper one into six modules and paper two into six modules so if you complete one one module you will be getting enormous confidence so you have to do module wise module wise module wise for every module you need to write one exam for every module you need to write one example then you will come to a conclusion that yes i am doing properly that's why the total paper anthropology are divided into 12 modules paper 1 ka 6 modules paper 2 ka 6 modules what is my approach total syllabus will be completed you can randomly you can cross check with any of the students of mine each and every topic in the syllabus will be covered 280 plus marks will be guaranteed if you are properly following me then i will take the responsibility user friendly and service orientation approach yes weekly test and personal evaluation we will be doing upsc standard evolution no compromise on evolution bottom to top approach under promise and over delivery we believe in under promise and over delivery so about me why anthropology by p vishnuvardhan why anthropology by p vishnuvardhan in this particular context i did my ma in anthropology then pursuing phd and attended UPSC interview three times with anthropology as optional and scored highest marks. No teacher student model here. Proper class notes will be provided. Compulsory exams and personal evaluation will be there. And you can ask me any doubts. Lastly, my target is my student should cross 280 plus marks. So this is my profile. And mainly this is what you are for you important. So three times a person who, who know much about this subject or the exam which you are going to write he can guide you properly book list i am giving you a proper book list ember and ember book very good book you will you will be loving the subject if you are reading the ember and ember book prehistoric human colonization by bn mishra physical anthropology by shukla and rastogi tribal india by nadi masnain physical anthropology by steen and Rowe. zaksa committee report aapko padna chahiye state society and tribes by virginius zaksa Anthropological Theories by Upadhyay and Pandey An Introduction to Shosho Culture Anthropology by D.N. Majumdar Indian Prehistory by Bhattacharya Tribal Culture of India by L.P. Vidyardi and Binay Kumar And Tribal and Sapiens by Yuval Noho Harari So these are the various And apart from it, this, you, also, you should also read about Annual Reports You should also read about Annual Reports So my contact my contact is so this is my gmail and you can you can see my quora and this is the telegram channel where everyday current affairs will be pumped and this is my facebook account and youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel in the search box if you enter vishnuvardhan p you will be seeing our videos so this is about yes the workshop of anthropology thank you